Hello everyone, my name is Zara Faridani Akavan, and for those of you who are subscribed or have seen my YouTube channel on the Shahnameh, uh, I am an art historian and I specialize in uh, miniature painting and especially of the Shahnameh. Today I'm going to talk to you about a specific particular um, and the most um, valuable and unique Shahnameh in the world. Uh, it is very famous, so many of you might have heard of it, and I have uh, talked about some of the paintings in the various videos. But today I'm going to talk about the history of uh, the Shahnameh and the project that I'm working on with this. This is the this is the Shahnameh. Um, actually, this is a very um, wonderful book that was uh, created in Tehran um, of the of the Shahnameh, and um, the the Shahnameh meaning the Book of Kings, uh, this is how it, it's, uh, it is in, in its original form. It opens like this, this is the cover, this is the a gilded leather cover, and then it begins like this with a um, dedication, and then it begins with the miniatures. And um, this is the um, opening rosette, and the uh, the narrative made by um, Abul Ghassem Ferdowsi uh, in the 11th century. You see me flicking through this, which is how a uh, manuscript of stories should be, but actually this Shahnameh is no longer like this. This particular Shahnameh has been uh, dismembered and it is now all over the world. Um, the two projects that I'm working on, one is a history of it, of what happened to it, of how it got dismembered, where all the folios are. And then the project that I'm working on is to um, virtually reassemble it. Obviously, because so many of the, the paintings are scattered all over the world, the physical reassembly of it is impossible. So we're going to recreate it um, virtually. Now, for you to appreciate the difficulty of the project, is the fact is that um, out of the 258 miniatures that were originally in it, um, the 78 are in uh, New York and um, others are scattered all over the world. Uh, for example, uh, uh, 10 in Canada, the Arhan Museum, um, and um, uh, in London also. Uh, and so, uh, and then of course, most importantly, 118 are in Iran. Uh, at the Tehran Museum of Contemporary Art. The paintings, the 118 paintings are there, as well as um, 1,006 pages of narrative. Now, the thing is though, that each page has been separated uh, randomly. So for example, the text page that would have fit this painting um, may be in a different country. For example, all these paintings are in different locations. This one is in Doha. Um, that text page is in Tehran. Uh, this is in uh, Tehran. This is uh, in um, uh, Canada. So uh, to reassemble these uh, pages, we're going to have to go one by one through every single one and see how each folio came to be separated or still be uh, in its narrative. Um, and there were sales of the folios as well, and those are, are going to be very, um, very interesting as we see what happened to each folio, uh, how it changed hands, and how the prices have just um, skyrocketed over the over the years. Um, so, uh, what we will do is go through all the different artists, um, beginning with the. Um, uh, the, the Shah who commissioned it, Shah Tahmas, in the 16th century, um, and then talk about all the different artists and their work and a history of this uh, Shahnameh that is uh, unique. It is the most perfect Shahnameh in the world, uh, and it has a very, very interesting story. Uh, I will be uploading these um, onto my uh, YouTube channel, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please uh, let me know. And um, I would be very happy if you would 
uh, press the subscribe button. That way I know that you are watching them and that uh, you are enjoying them. See you soon.